but uh, uh, so just a quick question. Uh, so did you guys go through that uh, last week session, the workflow? Yes, yes. Discussed? I uh, okay. we went through. And so, I have a question. a question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, during the workflow uh, thing, uh, the single value decision table, during that time, mm -hmm. like you have taken the number series from 00, zero to then 90, mm -hmm. 91, 92. So it is like, uh, compulsory that we have to take these series only, or we can take any number or any thing. This first, huh? This one, the okay. first table. Yeah, yeah. So basically, what happens is in rule based workflows, especially when mm -hmm. I say rule based workflow, so that is uh, uh, this 86. Uh, uh, 86. Number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 86, 86. Right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. So, uh, in rule based workflow, I mean, in not only rule based, in MDG, uh, mm -hmm. uh, any workflow, always it starts with 00. zero. Okay. Okay. And mm -hmm. ends with 99. Ends with uh, 99. This ends one. with 19 and then i can take 0 1 0 2 0 3 like yeah, that yeah. also yeah yeah okay so any, any series anything. from i can take from 0 to 99 you can see any alpha numeric character you can uh, number you can take it okay so let's say okay. for example it start with uh, 0 0 then you can take let's say for example step 1 step 2 step three. okay any okay. alpha numeric yeah. or any numeric but it yes. should be under 99 yeah, and, and it should end with 99. Like okay. This. Okay. Got it. Okay. So, fine. Uh, let me, uh, any questions? Any other questions? Akshay, one thing was um, we understand that we need to jot out, jot on all the steps, right? Mm -hmm. uh, in, in what happens if the rollback fails? We have not captured that scenario, right? Yes. Just wanted to check. That's true. That's true. That's true. Exactly. Actually, it's a good question. So, uh, in general, what happens is rollback will never get failed. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, because the reason is, uh, in case of rollback, what happens is whatever the data. So, let me uh, show you here. Uh, this is your uh, MDG uh, system. Okay. So, then we have a, a MDG uh, layer and this is your ECC layer. So, you have your active area database mm. over here in ECC. Mm -hmm. That is nothing but I'm just taking example of Mara Marcy tables. Okay. So okay. correspondingly in MDG, you have the corresponding staging tables. Okay. okay. So let's take a scenario of update scenario. Update means I wanted to extend this material to another plant or I wanted to change the material description or some properties. So then initially the material record will be in your active area in this table. So what mm -hmm. happens? It will, when you create your, when you initiate your change process, that means it will create a change request. And this record will get loaded. The complete record will get loaded into a copy of this record will get loaded into your MDG layer. Okay. Now on this MDG layer, let's say, for example, this is extended to uh, two plants already, the plant one and plant two. Now you loaded that record. So that time all the records get loaded into your MDG staging areas. So now on top of this one, I can change some attributes at Mara level. That means uh, uh, base unit of measure from uh, PC to, uh, let's say for example, ST or something. And I can also do extension for another plant. So now whatever you see here, uh, this particular one and this particular changes, these are currently in staging area. At this instance, these values are not reflecting on your active area record. So when it will get activated, I mean, when it will move to your underlying ECC after our activation step. So that means if you look at the workflow, so we have a step called activation step here. So when uh, the approver approves, that is the time where in the backend system will initiate the activation step. It, as process, as part of this activation step, what happens is system will try to push this record from here to here. Okay. At this point of time, maybe due to uh, the database connectivity issue or probably maybe if this record is at the same time being modified by someone else or whatever may be uh, some reason, this there is a high chance that it can get failed. Okay. So that's why at the activation scenario, we are handling activation successful and activation failure uh, scenario. Successful means it will successfully place the record and your staging record will be deleted. Okay. 
failure means there is something like i mean the changes are not reflected back to your uh, uh, ecc table so that's where we we will uh, actually handle that uh, scenario via activation failure because in case of activation failure your staging record will be there in staging table only nothing moved down here so that is the activation successful and activation failure case when it comes to rollback scenario what happens is this is not there in case of rollback what does that mean basically the record that is already there in the staging table uh, as part of the rollback process what happens is this record uh, will be deleted the staging record will be deleted and this record will be freed up basically it will get unlocked from the change request process so that uh, so that means there is no changes will flown down to your active area okay so usually for the deletion process it's so the in case of rollback the only activity it will does is it will actually remove your staging record okay so in the same database table it will just delete that record so there is no actually question of rollback failure and it will just simply unlock that one so that's why we usually never handle in case of rollback process that uh, uh, rollback success or rollback failure okay i i presume this could be the reason that since it is only with in mdg there will be no issue of rollback yes. is, is that yeah. a fair statement sir okay. exactly and yeah. um, and even when the initial stage right when the feeder class loads the data from ecc mm. to mdg right mm. Mm. so is there any situations that uh, there will be a failures at that step uh, as well uh, uh usually there are no two systems yeah yeah so so in the basically this is what the scenario you are saying right uh, initially when it is reading the data from your active area and it is placing that record into staging area okay so in this case Correct. what happens yes. is if there so in stay in mdg we have multiple entities let's say for example entity one entity two entity three then assume that your custom entity is also there okay so if, uh, to read the data from your uh, stage uh, active area and uh, place that data into your staging uh, thing so that time system will always read the data entity by entity okay so now assume that for the standard entities because uh, ideally it it will read successfully without any issues but there are sometimes what happens is for your custom entities uh, there because of our uh, uh, maybe uh, if you not configured it properly so then what happens is there is a high chances that this read will get failed for your custom entities in this case what happens on the mdg ui you you can see the data for your standard entities in the standard ui bbs but for your custom ui bb it will be blank there won't be any data get displayed okay mm -hmm. so that that's where actually we, you know that there is a record uh, in my active area but when i open that record in my mdg don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap video i i cannot see this particular data so that's where that uh, we need to troubleshoot why it is not reading uh, correctly and we have a baddie usually the read thing we will write inside that particular baddie we can debug up there and uh, troubleshoot that why it is not reading properly so but at a standard level it will it will not have such 100 yeah yeah, yeah. It, it, uh, okay. at least i never seen that uh, there is an okay. issue in reading for the standard okay level. but uh, the, whatever you said that is uh, uh, sometimes it happens uh, uh, for your custom entities okay okay sir and uh, since you brought this uibb thing uh, can mm -hmm. i go ahead with one more question which i had yeah or... sure definitely yeah sure. Okay, in deep copyright, uh, whenever mm -hmm. you are copying, uh, you know, standard UIBBs to a Z namespace, namespace, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. In that situation, there are situations wherein we can rename whatever is required, correct? Yes. And then we, we can also leave some UIBBs as standard only. Correct? Yes. Yes. So whenever an upgrade happens, can mm -hmm. is there a possibility that whatever we have left out, right, as to rename to a Z? those things mm. will uh, automatically have uh, a possibility of you know having the upgrade or that's also not possible uh, no not possible let me uh, explain that so if is this is your standard ui application which will have uibb1 uibb2 uibb3 okay now i am doing a deep copy Mm -hmm. deep copy of this one okay so this is my 
this is standard uh, USMD some uh, uh, star some application name. This is my ZUSMD application name. So in this process, what I'm doing is I'm copying this UIBB one into ZUIBB 